Welcome to the fourth course in this learning experience called DeFi and the Future of Finance. The fourth course, we deal with the risks as well as the opportunities of this space. So this is a new technology and there's a, a large uh, number of risks. So within this, um, this course, we'll talk about many different sources of risk. So we start with smart contract risk. We talk about governance risk, DNS uh, exploit, uh, Oracle risk, um, decentralized exchange risk, custodial risk. We talk about the important problem of scaling. And by that, I mean that we need much more throughput in terms of transactions per second than we've got uh, right now. We'll talk about regulatory risk, uh, including the threat of, uh, or opportunity, of central bank uh, digital currencies. And we'll also talk about the environmental impact of this particular space. And I'll do some calculations in terms of the amount of carbon that's being used, and we'll have some commentary uh, on the future. Um, I'll also talk about my vision for this space. So you've got bits and pieces of that throughout um, these four courses. But what I'd like to do is to put it all together uh, in the end and talk about where I see the space going and the challenges that it faces and who will be the winners and who will be the losers. I, I can't tell you exactly who the winner and losers are going to be. So I cannot see the future perfectly. I do have some ideas. And it's kind of my job uh, to give you uh, those ideas. So to start with, it's important to realize that the types of risks that we're dealing with in decentralized finance are different than the type of risks that we face in centralized finance. So, so this is a new technology. And already you've seen that some types of risks uh, appear to disappear. So for example, counterparty risk, which is a big deal in centralized uh, finance. So you're doing business with somebody and you expect them to pay, but they might not pay. Or maybe the collateralization goes underwater and there's a delay in getting a margin uh, posted, and there is loss, as expected, um, in a situation like that. So it's true that some of these risks are mitigated or eliminated with decentralized finance. But on the other hand, there is a new list of risks and it's really important to understand those risks. So what we'll talk about largely in this course are the limitations. And many of you will actually get involved in the DeFi space. And it's crucial for you to understand the risks as well as the opportunities. So a lot of what this course actually does is to arm you with the questions that you need to ask. So often when you're deciding whether to accept a job with a particular uh, company, or if you're evaluating a pitch from a new company, you need to know the questions to ask. And it's not just about the opportunity. So it's easy to sell the opportunity. But what I'm talking about is the management of the risk. And there are many risks. And for this technology to fully realize its potential, we need to provide a structure whereby the protocols are robust, they're resilient uh, to attack. And we're not there yet. Okay, so uh, this is another 
important lesson. That given that we are so um, little into this disruption, so less than 1%, that these risks exist right now. So it's not as if this long list of risks that I'll go through, uh, that half of them have been taken care of. That's just not the case. And that is maybe no surprise, given that we're maybe four years uh, into DeFi. There's a lot of work to do. And again, in joining a company or investing in a company, you need to hear from the company as to how they will deal with these risks and their opinion in terms of how this space will actually uh, play out. Okay, so again, I will arm you with the right questions to ask. And I will also speculate in terms of how this will play out uh, in the future.